drugs that kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow we had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors, cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing in Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Painted a max. You're killing me. Did you make that up yourselves, or you get some wine out downstairs and come up with it? Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad plan? The don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he said bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. How much help did I have? A letter on the desk caught my eye. Gangster ran all his rackets through his right-hand man, Vinny Gagnetti. Gagnetti was a high-strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped Energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words, quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up or you're finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security, locked doors, and lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Sosa, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Getting out was not going to be easy. The staircase was locked and the elevator had been busted for a decade or more. Correctly, there's a trap door.
right? And snack. Hey, got a bag of chips. Nope, only two. Why did I give him the chance to go through the closet? Maybe I am dumb. Nope, that's not the way. Previously, on Lords and Ladies. Lady Amelia, Marquis Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lawrence. My lady. My lord. Yo, now. <laughs> There is a shot and trap in one of them. Lord. My lady, there is a matter of great importance I must bring to your attention. My lord, there is? Indeed, my lady, there is indeed. From the very first moment we met, upon that distant forest path, there has been sunlight in the autumn leaves blazing like the colors of your hair. Oh, my lord, you should not speak so. But, my lady, I must, I must. My lord, no, I forbid you. This cannot be, this must not be. But why, my love, why? My lord. It is too dreadful. Do not force me to speak the words. My lady, I beg of you, I must know. I would rather die than not know. Yes, my lord, we should both be dead, for this shame is too great for the living. My lord, I am... My lord, I am your long-lost sister. Peak humor. What? Think I'm dead? V head junkies could go off without a warning. I had to be careful. Hey, one came out for me. Nice pile. Tonight, the city's fight against the nightmare drug Valkyr took a turn for the worse as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shots had been fired, and the NYPD is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the weather, the worst winter storm in recorded history, continues to pound the city. The NYPD is a This party had been dead for a while. I couldn't say I was sorry I missed the show. Like Dark Souls? No? Okay.
point blank shotgun blast. Still up on the CP. Got him down. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, close enough. Haven't saved in a while. Let's save now. Beautiful. I don't think the game has auto save. Oof. I found Muerte's room. Found it. Yep. Muerte had received a letter. It turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. It was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. We need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. Dramatic. I like having Max Payne killers. How do you know? Oh no. I hate this part of video games. I didn't want to know what had happened here. It was not a pretty sight. Hey, an extra one. Well, health. I have an idea. Not ashamed to say that one shotgun blast in Don Muerta's room kills me. The hooker had left her diary on the table. The diary belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. The read would have made a vice cop blush. Had talks with the mystery hag over the phone again. Sent to the latest one-eyed Alfred tape. As long as the hag keeps paying for the tapes, the old man could come every day for all I care. She had a nice sideline, making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. They would get her killed if her V-fix for the day didn't do it first.
Ew. Look ahead, uh, come on. No way, you go get him. You go and get him. No, they wouldn't wait. We got here. Okay, oh there's too many. A winter storm warning is in effect in the whole tri-state area as both freezing rain and heavy snowfall continue. Many roadways are already closed and people are advised to stay indoors. The severe blizzard has ravaged New York for three days now with no end in sight. We've been snowed from the start in the Valkyr case. The forecast said there was plenty more where that had come from. But the snowbound city was on my side. Less chance of innocent bystanders getting caught in the crossfire. Oh, 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 my God, I mean, lemon. Let's go out. Hey. Ah. Exhibit number one, a newspaper. Yep, I'm gonna let them come to me. Even rats are scared. Are they coming towards me? Nope. That's my first move. Ah. Uh, wow. Okay. Bullshit. Please don't tell me I have to restart all the way back. No, oh, no, I don't. Thank God. Whew. Back, 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 back to the thing, back to the thing. We got him all three that time. What the fuck? Why? I was doing so good and now I'm dying over and over again. Okay, we got that, and now we will see. Eskimos, man, Eskimos. 
I like the random conversation to have in this game. as a narcotics arrest. I love hearing Max's smooth, buttery voice. Buttery. So, gotta speak more clearly. I said her a lot. There was a key on the table. Sparky. Sweet. Way to go. Let's go to the restaurant. We cannot go to the restaurant. We will save. And go in. Two mad dog killers ready to murder each other. They step into the next room, and I'm thinking, now nah, they're gonna do it. Mm -hmm. But no. They sit down in front of a TV and solve their differences with the Kung Fu fighting video game. I tell you, Candy, I was so depressed, I strangled them both with the video game cables. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I am, ain't I? Mm -hmm. Rico Muerte, big time hustler. Who the hell? It's that cop. Muerte went for his gun. Oh boy. Do oh, what? What do you have a gun? Oh my god. Oh. No. <sighs> it was... Oh god, oh my god. Okay. I think I know what I have to do. There's a trade, I love it. Him. They have Get him. Just die. Thank you. All right. The class in ten minutes.
old telephone switchboard in the back room of the reception area. The kind that made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines. The blood veins of New York. Right now, there was a different set of moans and groans going on. Boss, I got you. This makes pain. The game started capitals. He killed him. Are you freaking kidding me? It's just one lousy cop. You better be freaking kidding me. Whack him. What's the freaking problem? Hello? Answer me. Hello? The word was out. A deadly virus released into the city's corrupt circulatory system. Something wicked this way comes. Max Payne at large. Oh. No, oh, no, okay. Brilliant but lazy. Yep. Welcome to New York. Oh. Now that's when we press the button. Mercedes-Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the fly in Don Punchinello's suit. The ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be ticking inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. 
Alright, I figure I think this is when I'm gonna pause the recording. Hey look a helicopter. Until then. Bye bye.